I will try to uh, present with some uh, figures and uh, analysis the situation of Latin America and what it means uh, the triple crisis for, uh, for Latin America. It's uh, is water, uh, territory and ecosystem degradation are lost. The second aspect is uh, energy intensity uh, and CO2 emissions increased uh, to uh, feed uh, the exports uh, activities in, from Latin America to uh, the rest of the world. And the third uh, level or the, th the third problem, uh, climate vulnerability that is in addition to the vulnerability of uh, uh, water scarcity or uh, territory erosion. And uh, uh, this means uh, also a second scale um, in the case of biofuels crops uh, for that compete with food production, more tensions between companies and government and local communities, the water, territory, and ecosystem degradation. Uh, because of the uh, current globalization and the economic ideology of uh, economic growth as the goal of the economy and the goal for development, uh, you need to recognize that uh, the Latin American territory and the Latin American ecosystems uh, are materials for the global economy. So you have in the region in the last years and with, uh, um, with the China um, economic development, you have an intensification of natural resource exports to the industrial companies and to China uh, to feed the global consumer class. Then you have, uh, of course, loss of, pa uh, of uh, natural patrimony, land and natural resources, no job creation, and we present some figures on this, privatization and concentration of land and natural resource ownership is part of the same process. It's not only natural resource exploitation, it's at the same time uh, concentration and privatization of land and natural resources is part of the same phenomenon. This aspect, this water, territory, and ecosystem degradation, it's, uh, is a physical aspect of the implementation of the model that have economic growth as God. And that means that uh, the global economic instrument, including, of course, the free trade agreements, turn na nature into a commodity. And of course, commodification of nature turn access to natural resources an issue of money. So, natural access for rich and corporations. When, when nature began to be traded under the logic of individual or corporate property rights, you uh, have commodification and uh, privatization. And privatization of natural resources in the global economy means concentration, monopolization of nature. All territories are legally open for corporations that can play in the scale of the global economy. A huge increase uh, from 93 to now. And there you can see that uh, mainly the more dynamic uh, exports is from Venezuela, Chile, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Bolivia. And the median average in Latin America is more or less 12.3 uh, of growth uh, annually. What is the Latin American uh, region? It's uh, exporting to China. So what are the part of the natural resource that the China economy use now that came from Latin America? You have 81% that comes from Latin America to China. In terms of grapes, it's 60%. Uh, In terms of soya, also 60%. In terms of sugar, 49%. So China economy depends from 
heavily from natural resources from Latin America, territories and ecosystems. And you go for the first product, where the Latin America provide 81% of all the fish meal China use, you will have Peru and Chile providing this fish meal. This is uh, all the Pacific coast. This is all uh, the territory uh, in the coastal zones. This means all the economic waters of the, the two countries. So the, the impacts are so concentrated in the lands and in the ecosystems. So Argentina and Brazil feed China economy with 60% of all the soya that uh, China import to the country. What this means in terms of water needs, what it means in terms of soil needs, uh, fertilizer, the impacts of communities. When you commodify on what is the ideology of the economy that is moving this system, you have that, uh, um, of course, commodification and privatization generate inequity and poverty. You have market competitiveness go displace local communities from their territories and expropriate their access to natural resources and ecosystems. Then you have commodification uh, exposing nature to corporate appetite and the sacking of global market towards the planet consumer class. And then you have uh, commodification and expropriation of nature as a way that destroy cultural and spiritual relations between human beings and living systems of nature and in thing which knowledge and cultures. So in the same way, what's happened in the physical level, it's happening the erosion of culture and the erosion of uh, the uh, knowledge uh, of the different people about themselves and about the territories they live in. Exactly the two sectors that create less jobs in terms of investment intensity. So the systems don't create a job that is one of the huge promise of the system. Uh, more GDP and more growth also is not development. You have here Chile, Colombia, and Brazil, members of the top 10 worst income distribution countries. You have uh, uh, these, these three countries, um, with Namibia, Lesotho, Botswana, Sierra Leone, Republic Centroafricana, Swazilandia, and South Africa in the group of the country with worst income distribution. This, the second uh, element of the, the triple crisis, uh, oil and coal in, uh, use, uh, it's increased in the region in the last seven years. This is uh, figures of ECLAC in Latin America. The same happened with uh, CO2 emissions from the year 1990 to the year 2004. You will have that uh, the country that uh, with more uh, increase of emission, it's Vietnam, Taiwan, Thailand, Bangladesh, Kuwait, Malaysia, Singapore, and China. Uh, in the case of Latin America, you have Chile uh, with 97% of increase of CO2 emissions from South America, double the world median average of CO2 emissions. This is not developed for people, this is because the in energy intensity for the export economy. We have conflict now between Bolivia and Chile for water. We have conflict now between Peru and Chile for fisheries. This conflict will be more serious in the future. You see the, the impacts on the, all the hotspots in America Latina, mainly uh, because of uh, water scarcity and biodiversity, loss of biodiversity.